<gasps> what is it guys, and here, welcome back to another episode of the Fever 19 Crew, and in today's video we'll be playing against Malika for Valencia. Anyway, before this video, so let's make sure you leave a like and subscribe for the most for and I'm written skill sample to hit that bell account to never miss another video about me, share the video with family, friend, and let's get into this. <gasps> Why did I do it like that? I don't know, but I did that all in one breath. So yeah, what is it guys? And we're here. Welcome back to another episode of the Theme 90 Career Mode. I don't need to do the intro. Just subscribe, please, because I'm on 123 subscribers. I'm loving life. Anyway, uh, in today's video, we are playing against Malaga. And as you can tell from the title, this is a very good warm-up game for a massive game, which means a lot to the series and season so yeah very very nerve-wracking stuff but anyway a big game against malaga and yeah it's just before the international break and i find international breaks weird it, it sort of slows down the pace and players get less less well they get a rest which is nice but anyway um guedes gets a ball injured at that point of time but he does chip the ball brilliantly to zaha and zaha ever since i brought him back to the squad he's been non-stop scoring goals and well he shows us right there, and he actually is keeping Maltenado, who um, ne um next season should be playing next season, uh, hopefully. He actually keeps Maldonado out of the squad, which is quite, quite shocking, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, he must be good. And, well, he's just something that we don't have on the pitch, which is quite odd. But he is proven to be very good, and he does chip the goalkeeper, which is obviously really nice, to be honest. And, yeah, it's it's quite a nice goal. But Bailey gets the goal. He hasn't been scoring recently, but he has been assisting. And he crosses A into Alvaro Morata, who gets another goal. And he gets another goal to his name. I mean, this man has been non-stop scoring goals recently and I mean if he gets 10 goals of the season he's been a brilliant signing I'm just saying that I mean he fits into this squad perfectly and I love having him in the squad so yeah he gets his seventh goal of the season so only three away from 10 so I'm expecting him to get 10 to be honest it'll be quite a failure if he didn't but Chesney I've been talking about how he's been quite poor recently and well he proves it there again his positioning just isn't that good anymore. He started the season. He's so inconsistent. He's another inconsistent keeper. I have so many of them. Seriously, it's so frustrating. But yeah, he's been so good recently. Um, sometimes. And then he's been so poor. And yeah, that's one of his poor moments. I mean, how can you let that in, Chesney? And March, Solly March gets the goal. So yeah, Malaga are back into the game, which is really frustrating, to be honest. So yeah, um, these are going to be a, a crucial points and if I drop them I can say I'm out of the title because I've been playing because we've been quite inconsistent recently but if we do get the win I mean it, it, it would mean a lot but I mean they had a really good chance um, uh, Malaga and well <laughs> I mean I said if we drop points I think we're out of the title race and well Ahmed gets the goal Ahmed Moussad Moussa even Gets a goal for Malaga, and it is 2-2, two, two. and Malaga pull off a brilliant comeback from 2-0 down to 2-2, two, two. and well, we would have to really, really try our best, and as Calabria gets a goal, our right back crosses it, and it falls to Guedes, and it does... He does score, and it is 3-2, so yes, I didn't know what to do. I was so happy Guerra scored that, and it's a really good goal, and he does his famous point-to-the-crowd celebration, and I mean, it's another goal for him, and Guerra, he's been one of our better players, better than Bailey, I've got to say for sure, and well, what a volley that is. We scored a nice volley the other match, um, the other episode, but Guerra gets a nice volley there, and it does finish. 3-2, so a very, very crucial goal by Guedes, and Malaga are now, um, did lose that game, quite, quite sad for Malaga, to be honest, I mean, I, I expect they wanted to win that, as they played really well, um, second half, and, uh, I mean, Chesney just shouldn't have let that first goal in, so, you know, it was very frustrating, but we couldn't lose that game, and we didn't lose that game, and it did happen to finish, to 3-2 and this is my moment of the match 80th minute Guedes gets the goal and yeah very very good finish from him a very good cross from Calabria so yeah I say Calabria so we're weirdly Calabria Calib Calabria Calabria 
I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyway, Guerra gets a goal. And uh, my man of the match was, in fact, um, Calabria. So, yeah, this is the league table I've been talking about. I did say if we lost that game, I'd say we're out of the title. And, um, well... <laughs> I thought Barcelona were going to win that game. They lost their game. So, <clears throat> we were back on level points, 61, but we were losing, I think, on head-to-head. -head. I don't think it's goal difference. I think it's head-to-head. -head. So, yeah. But um, we get an offer from Liverpool for Martinez. And I asked for £75 million, and they do accept it. So, yeah, Martinez is leaving and uh, a 5% selling clause. So, yeah. Martinez leaving for 75 million. We do play with Mexico, um, Colombia, and I did rest Maldonado um, as I wanted him to be featured in the next game. Hoy viviremos un gran día en EA Sports. Partidazo entre dos equipos que se tienen muchas ganas. Which would be, in fact, the biggest game of the season for both clubs. Barcelona versus Valencia at the <clears throat> um, Stadio Mestela, uh, Mestela, Mestela. I don't know how to pronounce it. But strength versus strength. We have the least goals conceded. Whilst they are the top scorers of the league. So, yeah. Very, very, very interesting game. First versus second, separated by only head-to-head -head record, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, and Barcelona have a brilliant team. they got Brooks, Bellerin, Ter Stegen, uh, Coutinho, Usman Dembele. Really good team, but we have a very good team as well. And starting today, Avon Morata, our top scorer um, recently anyway, um, with uh, seven goals recently. So, yeah, it's a really, really good team. And, yeah, oh, uh, I don't think Usman Tabel is even in the team. So, yeah, um, the first chance um, didn't actually come in the first half. Quite surprisingly, to be honest, nothing really happened. So, I'm guessing that the top scorers couldn't get past our solid defence. And, I mean, it's quite shocking that our defence is that solid, as Chesney's been in really poor form recently. But as Malcolm crosses the ball in, it falls to Gomez, who plays it to Augustine, and it's a really good save from Chesney so I mean at least he isn't inconsistent in this game but I mean what you just saw there was one of the best goals I've scored this season yes Moretta gets a ball plays it to Zaha and I mean Zaha finesses it and it was like watching it in slow motion it goes right into the top corner and I mean what a goal that is from Zaha and scores possibly the most important goal of our season stunning stunning goal from Zaha I mean this game this game was tense from the first whistle and Ter Stegen couldn't do anything about it and where hey hey Wilfred Zaha yes that's what the fans are chanting and they he scores again but as Guedes gets the ball he's been in really good form recently outpaces Brooks and plays it to Maldonado and he scores and it finished in the 84th minute and it is 2-0. He finishes it brilliantly into the bottom corner. And Maldonado scores possibly <clears throat> the biggest goal of the season. Putting the game to bed. I mean, Barcelona just got caught out with Bellerin playing so far up the pitch. And Guedes getting the ball. Outpacing Brooks. Playing it to Maldonado. Who I bought on because... I, I didn't play him in the um, friendly because I was just like, I can't I can't afford to lose this game. If I lose this game, the title's pretty much over because I don't think either team's going to gonna slip up. Uh, and I think the team who would, would be us. Um, not Barcelona. They've been way too consistent recently. So, yeah, they do lose that game 2-0. And Maldonado pulls off a wonder um, goal. But, I mean, talking about wonder goals... Wilfred Zaha take a bow because he pulls off a moment of magic and possibly the most important goal. The way he kicks it was so odd. But, I mean, what a goal that is from Wilfred Zaha. Incredible, incredible finish. And he did get my man of the match. That's what he makes different. He's, he's so different with Wilfred Zaha playing in the team. And, well, yeah, it does finish to... 
nil to Valencia. So that does mean that we are three points clear of the table, and that was a massive, massive game for us. And yeah, Maldonado would earn a star in this game against uh, I don't know Espanol. I think it, no, it wasn't. It's is that Getafe? I think it is Getafe. So yeah, he would earn a start in this game, and um, yeah, a very very good side that um, would be playing. Um, Chesney also playing as well, um, but I think it is our backup side uh, playing this match. So yeah. I'm just shocked about how great we were in that last game. We were so good against Barcelona, played everything right. And, yeah, uh, <coughs> excuse me, doing everything right. And it's a very, very good finish. Um, very good finish from Zaha, who wouldn't be playing in this game. It'd actually be Ronnie Vizo playing in his position. And as Martinez gets the ball, he goes for the fake shot. He gets taken out, and it is a penalty. So, yeah, um, T Turpin gets um, takes out um, Martinez. And, I mean, if you saw his ankle then, that was disgusting. So, yeah, Martinez stood up to take the... No, a well started um, stood up to take the penalty. I gave it to Morata, as I thought. You know, if he gets another goal, it'll be very good. But, I mean, penalties on this game... Are just so fucking hard. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how hard they are. So I was like, okay, I can't stand missing another penalty. I'll just score. And my, uh, well, he was like, Morata, you took that penalty off of me. You can't take this goal off of me. I mean, Awa uh, scores a really good finish. What a finish that is from him. And yeah, it does go 1 0 up. So we are doing our bit of the spectrum by going 1 0 up again. <laughs> and so Barcelona can't catch us up, which is really, really good. I mean, it's just a two horse race right now, Barcelona and Valencia. You could say Valencia, um, no. Atletico Madrid are in the title race, but I think it's only between Barcelona and Valencia. And at this point in time, we are winning the race, and yeah, <coughs> two nil, no one nil at half time, and um, yeah, we didn't want to um, um, concede any goals, but I mean, you can't stop many goals. Uh, um, like there has been some goals when in history you just you can't do much about. And this was one of them. This is just... Well, maybe I could have done a bit better defending. But, I mean, this is just a brilliant strike from Santander. And, yeah, it just really frustrates me how Getafe just pulled that out of the bag. I mean, this is just insane. But as Martinez looks to cross it in, he pulls off one of the best crosses I've seen this year. Uh, that I've done this year in FIFA. And who falls to it? It's Maldonado. <laughs> it's him again who scores another goal and it comes on. Um, well, he didn't actually come on. He starts this game and, well, he proves why he should be signing next season. And he scores a really nice header. I mean, this guy is the next Ronaldo. He is the Mexican Ronaldo. And, I mean, Zacharias, Zacharias Maldonado gets the goal. And um, this is the last chance. It falls to Visor, but it's a brilliant save from the keeper. Really good save from the keeper. But it does finish 2 1, the final score. So we did win that game, and it's very, very good that we won that game. I couldn't bear to lose that game again. So yeah, very, very good game. Uh, uh, quite, quite poor. Uh, Quite poor from Lugano, to be honest. Quite shocked that um, they're doing okay in the league. Because they were quite poor, to be honest, with our B team. But yeah, this is my moment of the match. Maldonado, a really, really just a very good header. And a great cross from Martinez. I mean, you don't get better than that, do you? And Martinez makes a really good cross. And yeah, very good header from Maldonado. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like and subscribe. Follow my Twitter down in the down school 742. Hit that bell icon so you never miss another video by me. Share the video with family friend. Hope you had an awesome day, guys. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.